percussion of spleen so first there are three methods of percussion of the spleen the first is percussion of trap space second percussion by castle's method and finally the percussion by nixon's method first let's look at the percussion of trap space Draw space, also known as the Bennett's space, is a crescent shape, meaning it looks like a half moon. Now let us look at the borders of the drop space. The borders, the first is the lower edge of the left lung. The lung has sixth, seventh, and eighth in the anterior, lateral, and posterior border. So the sixth rib is the lower border. Anterior border of the spleen, or the left mid axillary line, and left coastal margin. Now, let us see drop space in far more detail in a thoracic gauge, which I have drawn here. Here is a thoracic gauge I have drawn. And we are going to count, this is uh, up to the sixth rib. This is the left coastal margin. And this is the mid axillary line. The area is the drop space. And the spleen resides in the ninth, tenth, and eleventh rib. We are going to percuss here. And here in the percussion, normally it is resonant. If we get a dull node, then we are pretty much sure it is splenomegaly. Differential diagnosis can be left-sided pleural effusion. If we percuss, then the spleen is enlarged. Now, we have percussion by Castle's method. This is a far more easier method. Here, we are going in the anterior axillary line, and we are going to percuss in the eighth and ninth intercostal space. So we are going to percuss, so we get a dull node. If we get a dull node, then we're pretty much sure that this is a case of splenomegaly. If we have a node, then it is normal. Finally, we have the percussion by the Nixon's method. The percussion here, we put the patient in the right lateral position. Here I have shown. And we see there's a spleen in the ninth coastal rib. Now we take our imaginary line passing the midway and perpendicular to the coastal margin, angle should be 90 degree. Here we're going to percuss from below upwards and we get a dull node and we mark the area. We're going to measure the distance. Let the distance be x. If x is less than 8 cm, it is normal. There is no splenomegaly. If more, then there is possible splenomegaly. The, so here, splenomegaly is shown. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. If you want more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel B3 Bikash B3 B I K A S H. You can comment and suggest me in the comment section below. If you want to contact me, you have my link in the description below. And don't forget to share this video. Thank you.